it's very sad. We live in a country that consists of many races, many ethnics, and some of them are unheard of, and a few of them are critically endangered. My name is Wesley Juntan, but I go by Wesley Hilton on social media. What I'm doing is a Borneo by Wesley Hilton. So I'm from Cebu, Sarawak and currently uh, staying in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, uh, working as a flight attendant. When I started making the dolls, it was just hobby or just a first try actually, the first time. Because of the Gawai festivals, it was to honor the celebration because a lot of us are stuck here in KL and we are not able to go back home. That's when I started to create one doll in a traditional Iban attire. Uh, at the beginning of the process, most of it is just try and error because I don't have any reference, you know, how to create this before. The most important thing for me is the research or the information. What I create is traditional costume and it's not something that you can create on, on your imagination or something. It has to be based on the culture and the custom of each uh, races we have in Malaysia. The Kumang doll is my first costume. During the first time I started uh, dolls, it wasn't easy to get all the materials. As you know, we are in the pandemic and a lot of places are closed and they're not operational because they are not essential. I have my own stuff at home, like the traditional Puak Kumbu. It's actually a Sarawak or Iban clothing. Uh, it's just a piece of clothes that was made by the lady. I have that at home, so I cut it. <laughs> that one took me five days because of the headpiece and the accessories on the shoulder we call tango and the headgear is a sugu tinggi. Sugu is comb. Tinggi is means it's high, so it's high comb. This one is actually the real sugu thingy I'm talking about. So it got comb and then you put it on the head for accessories and it's very high. So that's why it's, that's why it's called sugu thingy. So I created my first doll with that. <laughs> but then after that, I have to order a few of the clothes from Sarawak. That's when I work more of it. Lah. So I wasn't make the doll from my own clothes anymore. <laughs> For me, it's very interesting to make it in the miniature form. It's a challenge, but uh, when I create and it becomes something that menjadi or it's successful, so it gives me confidence to create more. We have a lot of races and custom and culture here in Malaysia. So we have a lot of different costumes. I have a lot of dolls at home and none of them look like Malaysians. I mean, I'm thinking, Maybe we can have something look like us, a Malaysian, in a traditional costume. We never see it before, so that's my inspiration. But I believe it's that what they see through my door is just not the dolls. It's something that represents uh, the culture. It represents our nation, Malaysia. The main goal that when I first started with this store is to share the knowledge of our traditional costume and some of it is from the race or the ethnic that we never heard of, you know. So with the dolls, I should be able to reach out to more people, especially the younger children, and it could give them some knowledge that we live in a country that consists of many races, many ethnics, and some of them are unheard of. It's very sad, and a few of them are critically, I would say, endangered. Now it is our time to keep this knowledge and keep spreading it, and through this result as well, because it's something that could catch attention from the children, because the children love dolls, right? So something that could catch the attention then to learn more about what the doll is represents, you know, what this costume represents, and what is it about, and why they make it like that. My dream goal is to create all the uh, national costume or traditional costume of all the races we have here in Malaysia. 
but before I do that, I have to make more in-deep research because it's a very sensitive issue. So I don't want to make something that's very lousy. <laughs> I have to make it in details like, because my work is very detailed and every little details for me is something that could make a difference.